Recovery teams working that search for the crash areas your jet have had their most successful day to date. As the sun rises in just about 10 minutes off the coast of Indonesia, they can announce that they've recovered almost 20% of the crash victims. But that's only half the story. Scott Thulin at the live desk tonight to explain. Scott? Yeah, Leon, despite finding now about 30 bodies, the weather has just been absolutely debilitating. 13 foot waves and constant rain that's expected to last through Sunday means they're heading into this weekend considerably frustrated. Treacherous, perhaps the best way to describe the scene on the Java Sea, where search teams hope to find more clues in the crash of the AirAsia jet. But waves so high, conditions so choppy, divers can't even enter the water. Nonetheless, there has been some progress. More victims found today, many still buckled in their seats. Which seats could provide significant insight? If they were all sitting in the back and most of these bodies are intact, it would tell us or suggest to us that maybe the tail section came off. Among those identified, an 11 year old boy and a young flight attendant known to many as Nisa. She knew the risk, but she loved this. It was her dream. She loved traveling. Teams, including those from the USS Sampson, have found more parts of the plane, like this window panel. Strong currents, though, have moved and spread the debris, and the main fuselage containing the black box and recorders still unseen. There is a clock ticking. Uh, there's no question in my mind they will find the wreckage, but we just need to do it rapidly. That's because their battery life is maybe only a month. Another U.S. ship is available, and the Russians have provided this plane and crew. All are aware each passing day more painstaking for families wanting answers. Most of our family is, is in this stage that we are unwell. Some of us get sick. Even one of my brothers is hospitalized yesterday. Now, experts in general say the more luggage, people, and more plane parts that they find intact would indicate that the plane hit the water in one piece. That would hint that there was a mechanical error or a stall instead of a midair breakup due to any sort of explosion. Allison. Okay, Scott, thank you. And